This is Chad from Zombie Fight Shark. Welcome to episode 21 of the Complex One Modular Synthesizer Complete Walkthrough. And uh, we have talked about everything except for the back. So if you, uh, if you see here, we have discussed it all. Uh, every module at this point. And uh, we're, we're to the back, which we actually touched on the back in episode 1. Uh, and so we're coming back to the back. So it starts, it ends where it began, with the back. Yeah, something like that. Um, so, uh, you know, here, we'll get the easy stuff out of the way. Master out. That's your out into your uh, channel. So into your inputs in your channel. So you got to use that. Um, I think you probably knew that there, but uh, yeah, we mentioned it. Uh, you can re rename your uh, machine right there to your, 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 your synthesizer. Um, so what else do we got here? We got a sequencer control, CV gate pitch bin mod wheel. Then we got external routing, CV out in, and audio in. Uh, so whew, what are they good for? Well, if you were around for episode one, then you know that this external routing, uh, CV out, CV in, audio in, you know that that's where the performance bar across the top comes in. So uh, just to touch on it again, uh, I will set up a quick example. Okay, I have I have created the I got this nifty little crickets crickets there, and so we're gonna run crickets into the uh, into the back of complex one. So we got direct out into audio in. Cool. All right. Then external audio in. Now we have this route. We have an in. We have somewhere to. We can put this wherever we want. So let's say I want to apply crickets to my frequency modulation and to my amplitude modulation. So I apply that, and then frequency modulation. I do that. Uh, you know. I guess I should show you what it sounds like beforehand so that's what my mixed up lead sounds like <clears throat> so frequency modulation amplitude modulation now when I hit play I am playing the crickets And it is modulating my those two things I routed it to. Uh, we will reset this into a simple patch, and we will do the same thing again so we can get a better understanding. So audio in, still there. And now FM. And we'll, ju we'll just do FM for starters, okay? All right? Nothing doing, right? All right, now we hit play. It's playing, you can't hear it, but it's playing the sample. And now. And you can do this with any audio sound source. I'm just, this is just a random one I'm using for an example. All right, so, um, that is one thing you can do with it. And again, you can route it anywhere, wherever you want to route it. Um, you know, here just for fun, or we'll route it to the filter and then route that to the mixer. And we will turn our resonance up here. So again, it's not playing, so you can't hear the sample. Now. So it's playing that there, and it's running it through the filter. Yeah, 
and all the same things that you could apply to it normally, you can still apply to it. And then just as a final example of that particular function, now we should actually hear the sample when we hit play. Except for the fact, now, yeah, now. Yeah. So now, when you hit play, it just is going to play. But you can control that with your trigger. So that's your external audio in and how you can use it. Uh, let's take a look at your CV ins and outs. It's a very similar idea. Uh, we're just going to go with the old standby, the good old subtractor. And uh, I'm just going to run the LFO out of the subtractor there into one of the CV outs. So I have run LFO into the CV in here. And then my CVN on the performance bar ran it into the FM over here. And so now when I play, you hear that's this LFO going into this machine. And of course, it is anything you route into it can be routed anywhere else. Uh, just like uh, every other thing on the complex one. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. So there you go. So if you're looking for some, you know, if you you get uh, Europa into this, where you can get some very uh, unique uh, wave shapes and and whatnot, you know, if you're looking for something out of the box, then this is a way that you can route something out of here into the complex one and get some cool stuff happening. Uh, of course, cut, make it into a combinator so it's triggering those waves unless you have them on a loop. Um, so there's there's CV in now CV out. Um, you have you have so many you have so many cool things you can do with CV uh, control voltage in uh, in this. So if I take my outs here. Let's flip it around now. And um, it, let's just say um, a, a old standby LFO, but we're going to run it into the function and we're going to run white noise into it. And then we run this to CV out. Now let's switch over to our uh, Europa. All right, and like I said, I ran CV. It's in one and two on Europa. And uh, I'll run that one to engine one shape. Added some nice high end to it. And let's say just for CV2, just for laughs, um, we'll, we'll run and uh, not that, I can't do it that way. We'll run this out to two. And so we'll go over here to CV and put number two. And we are going to route it to, let's route it to the spectral filter frequency. Or excuse me, that's the regular frequency. Pretty noisy, but you get the idea. Um, so, just another way to use take advantage of your CV in and out of this dude. Uh, then let's look at the sequencer control 
Um, so you have your mod wheel sequencer control. We will use the uh, Europa again for this. So, you because you got all these cool presets in Europa. So, um, so yeah. Um, actually, I like this one. That one's that one's a cool one. Um, and let's set it to loop. And let's slow it down and then so that is envelope 2 going to CV output 1 alright and then it's gonna affect the mod wheel for this sound on complex 1 so now we just need to route the mod wheel to something uh, we'll do a uh, we'll do an obvious thing here and route it to the filter. Very common use of the mod wheel. And boom, it's modding it. So. So there you go. There's your uh, mod wheel. Um, let's do the same thing with the pitch wheel, just for fun. And you notice in both of these you have a percentage amount, if you want to do the full amount or not. The You notice it's probably not bending a lot, but if you want to change that, then that's your, where way back, remember, episode one, uh, your bend range right here, that's your guy. So change that bend range to a couple octaves and you're in business. To keep this same energy going, we're going to go to this and we're going to use that to control the gate. So just like that. And whatever whatever you can think of, you know, to be a gate, then whatever sound source you want to use, then you can certainly uh, do that. Um, so if I, instead of uh, instead of what we got instead of envelope two, you can send you know now this is turning into a uh, uh, lesson on Europa. That's a whole other series. I, I did a series on that too. If you uh, if you're down with that, so if you're if you're finding you need more things to be in time. Um, and the clock and LFO section isn't cutting it, then, you know, this is just another way you can route something in to your gate. Uh, and then, last but not least, CV. Your final CV uh, in here, just for the ease of example, I have routed a matrix. I use the gate and the note CV to control the complex one. And so when I hit play, I get this. And it is playing my oscillator.
That's uh, Complex One. So uh, I greatly appreciate your eyes and ears on this. Uh, like and subscribe if you appreciate this content so I know I should keep making it. And uh, I've enjoyed this journey with you. And uh, let me know what you'd like to see next. Leave me a comment. Thanks for watching. Cheers. <laughs>